good to be here. Uh, I'm not from around here. I don't know if you can tell. I'm uh, from the uh, uh, Box Hill. <laughs> China. <laughs> I don't like to tell people that anymore, you know? <laughs> because the news... <laughs> I was a job interview the other day, they're like, are you Chinese? I was like, nah. <laughs> well, where are you from? It depends. <laughs> You like sushi or squid game? <laughs> I, I lived in Australia for seven years now, and uh, I just got my citizenship. Wow. Uh, I appreciate that, but I didn't do much. I, I just paid a lot of money. <laughs> It took me seven years, which is it's really hard, you know, like, uh, and I don't think it's fair, you know what I mean, like, for us. The thing about it, all we want is to come here and buy some baby formula. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have to take an English test? <laughs> Chinese people would love baby formula. <laughs> Everyone's like, I bought something and I don't have a baby. <laughs> And turns out I'm lactose intolerant, that's all. <laughs> I just see a doctor, you know, like a specialist, and then uh, she said, uh, because you didn't drink a lot of milk growing up, right, so what you should do is keep drinking milk, and then your body will build up tolerance. And, uh, <laughs> oh, I should tell you this, uh, when I say a specialist, I mean my mom. <laughs> So I called her, I was like, hey mom, I think I'm allergic to dairy products. And then she said, no. <laughs> like, I agree to disagree, mom. <laughs> but can you come to Ben and Jerry's and uh, bring me a pair of new underwear? <laughs> Before, I, I, I like those shows. Before I came to those shows, like, I didn't know exactly where I want to go, you know, like, because there's uh, so many countries. Um, but I know what I like, though. I want to go to a country where people speak English and where I can use Facebook and Google. And, <laughs> and Pornhub. And <laughs> also freedom of speech. <laughs> Sometimes when I say that, people get weird. I'm joking. <laughs> We have freedom of speech. You can. <laughs> you say whatever you want. There's just consequences. <laughs> Which is not a bad thing, you know what I mean? Like, I was at a party the other day and then some guy cornered me and he wants to talk about how moon landing is not real for like 30 minutes. Yeah. And I, I thought, I was like, this is interesting, but it's been 30 minutes. Uh, when are they gonna come and shoot him? <laughs> Your system is not working. I did uh, quit smoking though after I came here. I used to smoke a lot, like chin smoke, um, you know, because that's the only way to get some quality air in China. <laughs> <laughs> the air pollution was really bad. Uh, they, they test the air and they did the math. They're like, breathing the air is equivalent to smoking like 23.8 cigarettes per day. Um, yeah. You know that's very accurate, right? Because we did the math. <laughs> Melbourne now is, is good, I like it. Melbourne is the best city, right? 
Yeah, yeah. I know that because people keep telling me this. I, I stay with my friend. And he said Melbourne is the best city because uh, Melbourne has great food and uh, and great coffee. And then he said the best thing about Melbourne is there's no racism. Uh, I was like, all right, I didn't ask you this. <laughs> Then I was in a city, I was walking around, and I was like, hey, this guy is right, there's no racism here. Because yeah, everyone here is Chinese. <laughs> I, this is true, I was in a steakhouse in a kitchen, like, I, I, I saw three Asian men cooking steaks there. I was so happy for them, but I didn't eat there. You know, if I'm paying fifty dollars for a steak, I, I want a white man to cook it. <laughs> I mean, I'm Asian. I love Asian people, you know, but I don't trust them with my barbecue. <laughs> they don't even trust themselves. You guys been to an Asian barbecue restaurant? They let you cook it. <laughs> You guys are great, thank you very much.